Welcome to Movie Guide. First, we're gonna do a shameless fifth. We are going to steal the guide that Evil J made for traders, and it's this one. And you will see it is Traders Major General Canon Guide. We're gonna use do things a little bit different. We are going to not only send a major general, we are also gonna send two ninjas or two MFAs if you prefer that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out this leader here in the first sector. We're going to be using a ninja for that and he will be loaded with 18 recruits, 1 elite soldiers and 201 cavalry. And let's make the kill. And down here we're going to take the first came out from the second sector and we're also going to use our ninja for that and he'll have 39 recruits. 130, ah, 159 cavalry, 1 elite soldiers and 21 cannons and here you go. And I'm just going to cut the video here because there is not much point of waiting for these attacks to finish. So I'll be back when I'm ready to deal with the second sector. Right, so we are back and my general is returning from the kill and everything is fine. I should probably explain now that the units needed to do it this way are 148, no, 184 recruits, 193 elite soldiers, 160 cavalry. If you only use uh, one ninja to do these two kills and don't send them at the same time, you only need 349 cavalry and you need 191 cannons. And I apologize for my horrible accent and for the terrible sound quality. Now, set up for the next sector, we're gonna be using. 23 cannons, 1 elite soldier, 153 cavalry, and 43 recruits. And it's going to go like this. We're going to take this general here with 196 cavalry and 1 recruit. The recruit is totally optional. We can leave him out. In fact, in EOG's guide, which I stole this from, uh, he leaves that one out. Uh, it will go and block this camp here. Second block up with 108 elite soldiers will go block this camp, and my ninja will be attacking the leader in the second sector. So let's send the attacks. And here we go. This is the first, the second, the third will be sent now, and yay! And it's going to take a long time for them to arrive, so I'm going to pause it again because there's nothing more boring than watching generals move. And we're back, and our ninja is just about to attack the leader camp down here, and you can see those two blocks aren't going to leave happily. And we have to fight starting. Yay, and it shouldn't be too long until the leader is dead, and even though this camp started falling now, this one should finish first. It really should. I'm gonna be angry if it doesn't. Go 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 go! Ninja power! Yay! It pulls down the camp at a significant faster speed than this is going now. And here we go. Right, and now it's time to stop moving generals into position. Now, if you take a look at Evil J's guide, he puts his major down there. And I'm gonna be putting a ninja there instead, and then placing another ninja in front of it, and then the major here. And I'm gonna use the same blocking position as he does, so these two places are where I'm going to put my normal journals. Uh, let's start moving. We got a ninja here. Both ninjas are going to be loaded with one recruit. So it goes down yeah, roughly here. It doesn't really matter because you've got significant time for the block so whether you place it here or here doesn't 
uh, affect the outcome in any way. And it's going to take a while before the general gets back, so I'm just going to move this and pause it, and we're going to wait till everybody are in their right position and resume the video then. And so up. Right, and we are ready for the final attack. And the setups I'm using this normal general here to block this camp here. And it has 45 fleet soldiers, 153 cavalry, and two recruits. And I don't know why I'm saying this because you can see it, it's a video guide. I guess that if you're blind, it's somewhat useful, but if you're blind, what the hell are you doing watching a video guide? And um, we're using 147 lead soldiers to block this camp up here. And this is the order I'm going, I'm going to be attacking them. I'm going to take this one and attack up here, this one and attack up here, and then I'm going to take the ninja. I have Ferdinand in the back and attack the white card. So immediately after I send this one, I'm going to be sending the second ninja. And then I'm going to pause a bit before I send the major. And the setup for the major is 78 recruits, 1 elite soldiers, and 191 cannons. And, and these are basically all the generals you need to do the adventure this way. I, however, also sent a veteran general to the um, adventure, and the only reason I sent him is so that he can bring back home the cavalry that I'm not spending in the final attack. And this makes it possible for me to do back to back traders, which is very useful during this Easter event. So he goes back home and let's send out the attacks. There, there. Now the white castle is a bit annoying because sometimes you have to click on it twice for it to register the attack. But oh well, we're going to do that. Now I should be able to send this major out as soon as the second ninja has passed, which is right now. You can see the two ninjas are going along the way. But I'm going to wait until there are a couple of blacks ahead. Now is a good time. And the reason I'm doing that is because I had a bug occur to me. I did send out the major as the third of the attack and he arrived last but he attacked second and that made me lose some cannons and losing cannons makes me very upset because it takes a long time to produce new cannons in the barracks um, and quite frankly my cannon production is pitiful um, so I'm just losing the cannons I have in storage and they're way too expensive to buy. And the blocks take quite a long time so it's a very safe block and you don't have to worry if you don't get uh, around to sending the ninjas right away. If it takes a bit of time that's fine. Uh, the white castle have no additional hit points compared to a normal camp. It only has 250 hit points, which means that the pull-down time is just the same as on a normal camp. Unlike, for instance, the Dark Castle or the Witch Tower, which have 2,000 hit points and take a hell of a long time to pull down. Having cannons, uh, greatly accelerate the speed so I'm most likely going to be pulling down the white castle in 10 seconds or one round if you please rather than in 20 seconds and the pull down is occurs after you won the battle and that's when you will start to see the bar moving and there we go and 
and we are done and you can see those blocks are still going and everything is fine so let's go back home and stop this video thank you for watching i have been rubicus and you have hopefully not hated this video way too much goodbye